All right, good Friday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. This is our live weather update for the early morning hours of Friday, just past 8 o'clock in the morning, and things are looking a lot nicer across the area for right now. We do not have too much to worry about in the way of any major problems out there for the weekend or for tonight, so looking very nice into the rest of the day today. So if you have any plans for outdoors, you can go ahead and keep those. The weekend looks good. Friday night football looks good. Next best chance of rainfall. I'm sure it's out there someplace, but we just don't have too much of anything going on uh, at this point in time. So things are very much on the quiet side and will continue to be so throughout the course of the rest of the day today. So if you have any plans for doing anything, you got great conditions out there. It's a little bit on the brisk side this morning. So if you have any plans again for uh, kid getting the kids out for the early morning hours into the next couple of hours, you may see again some possible chilly conditions into the Mid-South as we go into the next uh, several hours or so. Let's go ahead and welcome our Facebook viewers in for this morning. Again, Twitter, Periscope, and Facebook. We are live. It is just past 8 o'clock, as you can see from the clock just above my head up there in the red bar. Questions about the forecast? Any ideas about what you would like to see on here? We would love to know more about it. All you have to do is just let me know at austin.onic at wreg.com. would love to have you along for the ride. If there's something on here you would like to see besides what we're featuring, let us know. We'll do our best to fit it in and let you know more about what's happening. Thanks to everybody for those pictures you've been sending in, some great ones. We've been posting those on Instagram and Twitter and on Facebook when we have the time to do so. So great opportunities for more on that. If you've never tuned in here before, welcome to both our netcast and to the Mid-South area. This is, again, a great opportunity to see what's going on in the area. Forecast for the Mid-South, again, North Mississippi, East Arkansas, and West Tennessee here in the blue bar. Social media information here in the red bar, also up there in the forecast graphic and also right above my head where it says wreg.com slash weather. Uh, fellow Topeka West graduate just a year ahead of me, Donna Kirk Swaffer, welcome to the show and thanks for tuning in for this morning. Glad to have you along for the ride. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what's going on out there this morning. Beautiful sunshine, Germantown City Hall Cam, just north of Germantown High School, and looking off to the distance where the Clark Towers around Poplar and Mendenhall are into around areas of northeast uh, corner of the I-240 loop into Memphis. Poplar Pike, Germantown Parkway over on the right-hand side of your screen. Not seeing a lot of major traffic, but of course it is rush hour, so a lot of people uh, heading out and about relatively soon. Radar at this time, we just do not have much of anything going on at this point. It's quiet, it's dry, and it should be remaining that way. Incredible to see uh, not that much of anything in the way of echoes across the area. Very dry and will continue to be so throughout the rest of the day. So if you're expecting rainfall for your garden or or anything else outside than to settle the dust, maybe lessen fire danger across the area. It is starting to increase in parts of Arkansas, so something to pay attention to if you're going to be heading out and about anytime soon. But as of right now, nothing to spoil any outdoor activities. Garage sale, football games, no problems at all throughout the rest of the forecast period into the weekend, so looking good there. Uh, Tim Biggers, welcome to the show. Thank you very much for joining us. Carol uh, Williams-Graham, thanks for joining us as well. Sandra Mead, sun shining, a few clouds, beautiful day. Yep, looking pretty good across much of the area. Let's go ahead and see what's going on in and around the Mid-South area. Tuning in to the University of Mississippi. Got some great cameras scattered around campus and view from Einstein Brothers Bagels. I'm hoping that the uh, buttered caramel coffee is going to be back again at some point in time, but it doesn't look like too many people up for a nosh early this morning. Likewise, the view from around the campus got numerous cameras out there. Beautiful blue skies around Garland, Heddleston, and May's construction office uh, on campus. You can see blue skies out that direction. And from the front of the Union, a lot of construction going on as a lot more is added to the area around there. Uh, thanks to, again, Old Miss for a great view uh, from around the area. The Grove Stage Cam, one of my favorite ones, getting affected by a little bit of sunlight for this morning. And you can get to this website by going to livecam.olemiss.edu. Uh, great area for, again, cameras in the Mid-South to see a little bit more about what's going on. More of our weather bug cameras, easily accessible at wrag.com slash webcams. Numerous cameras around the area, and you can see a little bit more about what it looks like out across uh, much of the Mid-South. Trying to keep you cool and looking into and around the area of Mars from the Curiosity rover probe working its way around the surface, 18.4 below zero. That was the high temperature on Tuesday, recorded and sent back to Earth. Again, the high temperature of 18 degrees below zero, negative 112 was the low temperature in the air 
And again, a lot different conditions than what you usually see on Earth. If you'd like to see more about this, all you have to do is go to the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, mars.nasa.gov, and tons of information available there. National Hurricane Center. Maria and Lee no longer a problem. Lee is still a hurricane winds of about 75, well, barely a hurricane, winds of about 75 miles per hour at this time and moving away from the United States. Likewise, Maria is also not a problem at this point. Kevin Dunn, cool outside, a nice day. Sounds like a great start to the day. Thanks for checking in with us for this morning. Tropical storm, Maria winds at 60 miles per hour. As these storms continue to head up into the North Atlantic, they're going to be going over increasingly colder waters, and that's going to sap their strength. Now it is kind of interesting to see that these storms, if they continue on their current track, they are going to be going a little bit closer to the British Isles. In fact, by next week, if they survive as some form of a storm, like a tropical storm, or in this case a post-tropical storm, they may be hitting Ireland by next Monday into next Tuesday. So kind of need to be able to see that. Now if you are heading down to the area around the Florida area, down toward the Keys, Please keep in mind that we have a new disturbance showing about a 40% chance of developing here. It's right between Florida and Cuba, right over the Keys. It doesn't look like much right now. We'll show you more about that graphic coming up here in just a little bit. It's fairly tiny and disorganized, but at this time of the year, we need to watch for that. Another disturbance around the Leeward Islands, not good news for Puerto Rico last thing they need is the possibility of more problems and it looks like more heavy rain heading toward Puerto Rico in the next couple of days. Chance of anything developing out of this, 20%, it's not great, but it is still possible. That system over Florida right now is really just not that much to worry about for the time being, but it is going over the Gulf Stream and warmer waters, so this could be something to take a look at over the next few days. And the one out over the Leeward Islands, this one seems to have a little bit more structure to it this morning. But this also is going to be something we need to watch. Currently, again, some nicer weather, some clear skies for around Puerto Rico. Uh, they need some good weather to help with getting the uh, relief efforts underway in that location. Don't have much to talk about in the way of earthquakes, although we did have one within about the last 24 hours in that red dot right there. That happened at just past midnight last night or into uh, early Friday morning, and it was a 1.7 right around the New Madrid area, close to the boot heel, close to around... Uh, Marston, Missouri, between there and Lilbourne, just to the west of that giant curve of the Mississippi. So we are starting to see, again, maybe an occasional earthquake or two. More information available from the Center for Earthquake Research and Information, uh, again, available from memphis.edu slash CERI. If you'd like to see more about all this information out there, uh, tons of weather detail or tons of earthquake details available and a lot of different stations to monitor this area of the country. Taking a look at the Mississippi River, it is way down and expected to stay pretty far down uh, into the next several days. It's at negative 4.6. That's 4.6 feet below the zero stage. And this is what we wind up with at this time of the year uh, where we can get some pretty good drought conditions out there and expected to stay a little bit farther downwards over the next few days, probably as low as about maybe uh, six and a half feet. Now that's not record-breaking low, but it is pretty low for shipping channels and things like that. So it's going to be a while before we see the Mississippi River on its way upwards. If you'd like to see more about this, it's available through the National Weather Service in Memphis. It's available from the Advanced Hydrologic Prediction Weather Service uh, page, and that's again available at uh, weather.gov slash M-E-G for more on that. Some sprinkles out to the west of us, some clouds over parts of Fort Smith, Oklahoma, Kansas, into around Texas and far eastern New Mexico. And some of that goes all the way down into around portions of northeastern Mexico right across the Rio Grande. But beyond that, nothing really major heading our way. Continuing to see some quiet conditions as high pressure wanders over the Mid-South. A weak cold front will be dropping its way on through. And as it does, it will again be bringing us uh, more chances of just dry air. There's just really not that much for us to pick up in the next couple of days. Chances of rain thanks to high pressure will be moving its way and staying its way back toward the west of us so we really don't have a lot of anything major coming our direction anytime soon. Matter of fact, we've taken most of the rainfall out of the forecast which we'll show you about in just a little bit. Again, the seven-day hazardous weather outlook, nothing going on at this point in time. Very dry across the area and staying in the lower 80s today. A few mid to upper 70s across much of the Mid-South. Low temperatures tonight should be back in the lower to mid 50s, lower 60s in the metro area. By the time we hit Friday night football, temperatures will be comfortable 
back in the lower to mid 70s across much of the mid south area again if you'd like to see more of our seven day forecast that's readily available at wreg.com slash weather and you can click on a lot more information there go jim go our interactive radar page weather bug information sign up for weather call tons of great stuff and again it's available at wreg.com slash weather taking a look into tonight clear skies will bring us another overpass of the international space station from west northwest just around arcturus in the constellation of booties the shepherd that will be going at about 8 11 tonight curving around the northwestern horizon and finally fading in the constellation of camelopardalis just to the uh, down to the horizon between the north star you're going to need a clear unobstructed view of the horizon to be able to see this tonight and again that'll be rising at about 8 11 in the northwestern skies and going through the bucket of the big dipper at about 814 also just after that at about 855 an iridium flare will occur in almost exactly the same place an iridium satellite reflects sunlight down toward the ground and that is where we're going to see this happen dropping down toward the ground it'll be just around and just under the north star heading down to the northern horizon and it should flare it's not going to be hugely bright but it should be visible and that'll again be at about 855 give or take about 10 seconds or so it'll fade into view within about 10 to 15 seconds get to its brightest and then fade back out again that's what these things are they're not going to be like a shooting star they're not going to have blinking lights on them but it's a good opportunity to try detecting that information courtesy of heavens-above.com go to that website plug in your location and you can see more about what's going on we'll post more information about that on my facebook page a little bit later also on twitter and also on my instagram pages as well and thank you to everybody for sending in some marvelous pictures out there including louis haskett beautiful view from northeast Arkansas. A few clouds drifting on through the area for this morning. And thanks to everybody else for some amazing pictures out there. We'll be posting a lot more uh, to this website coming up within the course of the next several days. Join me for an update on the forecast with Bob and Josh. It's going on right now in the last hour of Talkback Live. That's on AM 730, Yahoo Sports Radio. If you can't join us on air, join us online at talkbacklivenetwork.org. Would love to have you along for the ride there. And of course, my complete forecast throughout the rest of the the weekend on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. Quiet for the rest of the morning, quiet into the weekend, no problem seen at this point. So again, we'll keep you updated on the forecast as we go throughout the course of the next several days. So keep it tuned to yours truly. Tim Simpson will have your forecast tonight. Jim Jaggers is out riding around for Go Jim Go. We'll have updates on all of that throughout the course of the rest of the next several days. So stay tuned for more with News Channel 3. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik, live and direct on Periscope, Twitter, and Facebook. Stay tuned to News Channel three throughout the rest of the week and into the weekend on air and online for the latest news weather and sports